What up, guys? Aquí su compa Giovanni y Andy from Los Aquiles and Paco. All right, so these dudes, ellos, they hit me up through Instagram and want to talk about more like the musical experience because a lot of people don't know the behind the scenes of what it is to be a musical. So, para la gente que no los conoce, talk about like how you guys started or who you guys are, and then. Yeah. Well, uh, we started in Palmdale uh, originally. Uh, our grupo name is Los Aquiles. Just right now, we were having a. Uh, we're having some difficulties, you know, with, uh, uh, we're looking for a new singer pretty much. We yeah. don't want to go too much in, into like details and stuff, yeah. but um, we kind of wanted to talk about how um, when musicos are going through something, like they lose a singer or something, like they shouldn't just stop like, damn, we lost the musico, everything's over. Yeah. Because I feel like musico, uh, the musicos aren't appreciated as the singer sometimes, you know, like everyone everyone looks at the at the singer, singer just the singer the singer and then, the and then you know it, it's fine you know it we, we we don't worry about it too much but then it comes to the point where like damn like like we put in just as much as like hard work and stuff you know like yeah it's and, all equal and, yeah and everyone looks at the singer instead of the musical yeah i mean yeah it, it's cool like that because we understand obviously it's it's the face it's the face of the grupo yeah um but at the same time you know sometimes uh the musicals need love too you know yeah <laughs> 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 yeah man so um for la gente que no los conoce these dudes they have like thousands of views on youtube with their songs and like how, how'd how you guys get to that point like how'd you guys start and how'd you guys get to that point? you know what we, we've been i think uh we've had two other grupos and yeah. we had uh two different singers and this will be like if we have a new singer it's will be like the, the fourth other singer yeah so it's it was literally just starting from the bottom and just keep going like something doesn't work just like what happened to us Except this time is a little bit harder because, you know, uh, our song on YouTube has uh, 5.7 million views. Yeah. And imagine that, like, just switching, the switching the whole All face of, of the sudden, grupo. Yeah. But uh, we're here to tell musicals that, you know, just, you just got to do what you got to do. Like, you can't just stop. Like, nobody's going to hand you anything. You know, you just got to just, just, just do it. Um, it's not easy. And I think that's why a lot of people just stop and give up. That's why you don't hear uh, a lot of grupos that started and then just stop because... It just got too hard, you know. That's like, true. It, it sucks. It happens to a lot of musicals, like the it like we don't no pegamos de, de un día al otro. Like sometimes it's a project yeah. and that one fails and we keep on going. Like Legado Siete, for example, they weren't Legado Siete before. They were like Los Plebes or Los something. Oh, for right. Yeah, know you didn't know that. Nah. They were otro grupo, and then Alex, I think, he started Legado Siete after. Yeah. Yeah. See, so. it's hard. Like a lot of people see like these big grupos like signed and stuff and then they think damn you know like just that one video did it or just this song yeah sometimes you know sometimes it is that case but most of the time these groups have been around for a while you know like you you hear you you hear a group that that you know is hitting hard right now but you don't know what they've been through you know they yeah. like a lot of groups that are big right now and not just the groups managers that are managing their own companies you know whatever in whatever business uh, people think once they're up there, like, damn, you know, that shit was easy, but it wasn't, you know. That's true. If they go through a lot of stuff. A lot of people, people don't yeah. see the behind the scenes. So you guys managed to make it to this point. Like, you guys reached fame. You guys got millions of views on that video. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys, like, make money once you got to that level? Or yeah, that we, we, we started making money. But again, it it's hard because you have to keep... It's like, I don't know how, how to explain it. It's like It's like a... How, how would I say it? Like, it's just like a business, like a little baby and stuff. Yeah. You know, you got to keep feeding it. You got to keep That's taking true. care of it so it could grow. Like, Simone. if you stop, if you stop, you might not see results right away. But in a year, you're going to be like, oh, damn, I should have never stopped right here because now it's affecting me. You yeah. know? So whenever you start something, you got to start and just keep building it and building it. You're not going to see results, like, right away. But one year, two years, you're going to see, like, the the royalties come in, you know? Because yeah. we, we get royalties from songs from 2018 okay and then for so in 2018 we weren't really making money but then 2019 and 2020 came and we're like oh damn like you know like yeah like that was that was worth it you know that sacrifice uh, so, yeah so what are different streams of income that you guys get is it just royalties or is it shows and stuff like that it's shows and royalties uh so we get paid like youtube spotify like pretty much all the platforms you know yeah. we're with a company called uh, arpa music okay. which is owned by uh, uh, pepe garza so he um uh so we're like on all the platforms you know and anything you could think of spotify you know you give your buyer songs on amazon and stuff you know oh, shit. Songs. yeah <laughs> <laughs> buy signs like 120 a song or something a dollar 20 a song <laughs> something like that yeah. but uh yeah i mean 
so I, I think I think this situation hit the hardest because it's like damn like we, we had all that for us and then like uh, and then we have to like pretty much not start all over but we gotta start again like yeah. switch the whole thing because we also ha- uh, keep in mind that it we are switching the main one so people are not gonna like it but yeah. some people might like the new one you know yeah and if it doesn't work out well we're trying at least you know we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna stop you know like that's what I tell these guys porque a veces se aguitan you know yeah. so sometimes they're like damn like I mean if we would have like I don't know it, it's different like with the singer singing you know the person right in yeah, front you know the, it's like damn like it's the, it's the main one but yeah. I'm here to tell musicals out there that it's it's still possible you just gotta keep looking pretty much like like we have we've been we've been looking and it's a process it's not it's not gonna be easy damn dude that's hard so what's your plan now you guys are signed so does that affect you guys in any way you guys could keep the name well uh, yeah it all depends on the on the on the label what they want to do and um and uh they gave us another opportunity they said you know what look for another singer let's continue this project yeah and uh i don't know if many other labels would do that you know that's why we we thank them a lot too um for giving us the opportunity because imagine like your label and then the singer just you know like it's not working out and then like they're gonna be like oh no we don't need you guys you know but like yeah yeah, that that would suck but um well thanks to Warpa that they're that they're giving us another opportunity to just keep going with the music and because some because the the managers also see like damn like the the musicals are good too you know like not 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 just you know just a singer and stuff so that's why i think they um they said okay we'll just see let's see how it let's see how it works out with another thing so um one of the dreams of many musicals is actually getting signed to a label like uh-huh. how'd you guys get to that part like how'd you guys get signed um well one of our uh, uh friends uh wife actually sent yeah uh, a video to pepe garza oh, you know shit. out of the random yeah and it was that video that, ha- that has the most views uh oh. she sent the uh, the video and then he and then he called right away he's like oh how can i contact you so they gave him my number and then uh he he called me out of nowhere i'm like hello yeah. like i didn't i wasn't even gonna answer because like i don't answer numbers that are, yeah. that are you know that i don't know you know wow. which i should because that's bad for <laughs> business <laughs> but nah uh i wasn't gonna answer but it was I, I i could tell right away i'm just like hello and then you know like yeah, i heard him, the voice yeah yeah and he told he told us to go in for an interview and stuff so oh, we shit. all went so uh thanks to uh leanne too for uh that uh for that because if she would have not done that then you know we wouldn't probably not been where we are right now you know? yeah so you guys started getting the views before you guys were signed to any labels or how how was mm. that our views started going up i i think we had like 20 20 views they were growing up slowly yeah. but once we did the interview that's when they started like skyrocketing you know yeah sometimes you don't need a label but it does help a little bit you know like it helped because once if the music's good and they see it they'll put your music out there and they're like oh you know like um like like how pepe garza in, in the interview we got interviewed and after that like the views just started going up and yeah. up, you know? and then we just went from there and shit that's cool dude so a lot of people like a lot of musicals they want to wait till they get to that point but i see that you guys actually started making videos before that yeah. And then the Pepe interview got you all the exposure back to all the work you had done way before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it just exactly it it, it catapulted us because we're just like we we've already had that work there. Yeah. We just needed that little extra push, you know. Yeah. And well, we got it thankfully. That's good, dude. Any advice you would give to other musicals watching this right now? Yeah, d- just don't give up. Like, but you music has you have to practice. Yeah, like, don't practice don't just think like like you play guitar and you practice one or two hours a day that you're gonna make it like just really practice because it's hard like imagine how many other people right now are doing what you're doing right now like are you working harder than them or not like nobody just gives you things yeah, you know like true. like you they, yeah you, you you gotta work for it just like in, in in any business and it's so easy now right like with instagram facebook like it's so easy to just like upload a video like yeah. i could upload a video on my phone right now like you, you know, could do it right like, now i know like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and don't be scared to travel uh two hours three hours four hours five yeah hours. i'm in santa ana these dudes travel from palmdale from that's palmdale. two hours away yeah. that's dedication right there yeah i mean you you gotta look like like us right now we're still trying with this video we're out here you know we didn't know what was gonna come out but we're trying something and i think that's the difference between people that uh that succeed and people do that just they stuck because they stay stuck in their homes 
and they're just thinking about damn i should do this, I should do this. but Smart. you you shouldn't you, you you should think about things thoroughly before you do them but but not to the point where you you're stop yourself anything. because you're afraid like yeah just do it and if it comes out messed up then oh well like then you know what to not to do next time you know? <laughs> that's true and i see a lot of uh like blogs and stuff like successful blogs and stuff like that you know that people talk about the same thing and it's pretty much that you just have to not be afraid for them to tell you no or for things to go out wrong you know so do you guys want to play a little song yeah actually this song um like i said right now we were looking for a new singer but we like like to make music you know uh, we like to uh, you know play long to covers too but we just like making it like more like music that's original you know yeah so we're like damn like i told my brother i was like Let, let's just make something like he was like but what we don't have a singer you know it's like just something with requinto it's like yeah. just requinto like yeah just like a song like just requinto and stuff so we just got right to it and then uh, so we're gonna play that right now Ready? Yeah. So where do you guys get that inspiration from, like, Pasacala Musica? Uh, sometimes it comes out of nowhere, to be honest. Like, this song came out of nowhere. Yeah. I was just at a park one day, oh, just like shit. this. <laughs> it was in a Parama, I think, though. Yeah. And then I just started playing that little part. You know, sometimes it comes out of nowhere, but then other times you're like, damn, like, sometimes you want to tell the people, like, where well, you still have, like, the, that passion for music, but yeah. you don't know how to tell them in words, you know? You just That's true. tell them in music. And then you don't have a singer, so you're like, I just do it with the whole guitar and stuff, you know? <laughs> yep. uh, well, shout out to uh, all the supporters that we still have, you know? Since um, we, we've had the same followers since maybe like 2014. That there, There's still some followers, you know, like local followers yeah. that know like the whole story, you know? Um, and we want to thank them that are still, you know, following us. They're still supporting us. Uh, shout out to, uh, you know, Palmdale, Antelope Valley, you know, Lancaster, Little Rock. Uh, shout out to Chaka too, you know. Shout out to um, Alejandro, our manager. Yeah. Alex, our manager, that uh, that gave us, you know, a lot of opportunity uh, to keep going, you know. And the label, Arpa. Shout out to them. I don't know what you want to say. Mm. Mm. Basically, yeah. Cool, guys. So, hope you guys like this podcast. If you guys liked it, leave a comment down below. Like this video. Or if you guys have any more questions for them or for other musicos, like, don't forget to leave that comment below. 
follow these guys on Instagram. You guys are social media. Yeah, uh, follow uh, follow the Aquiles page. You know, Los Aquiles Oficial. You know, follow us uh, to stay updated on what's gonna happen. You know, well, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Show, dude. We'll see you guys in the next video later. Thank you.